All right. All right. Hello, Hockington Middle School, and I'm your host, Michael Hyman, and welcome to show 94 of HMS Today. Almost triple digits. Almost. We had a good run, Michael. We almost made it. We just have a couple more shows this year, so let's get started. Our first feature for you is our question of the day, where we're asking, what three questions would you ask your pet? Are you serious? Three things I would ask my pet, which is a dog, is, did you have any siblings? Um, did you have fun when you were little? Do you like living with my family? I would ask her so many questions. I would want to know what she does when I'm not home. What did she do then? Um, what her favorite color is? What song does she like? And of course, who's the favorite in the family? I think it's me. If I was their favorite of my family, um, what their favorite food was, and what was their favorite activity to do outside. Well, one, why are you afraid of water? Two, why don't you like being a pet as much? And three, do you know why people love Fortnite? What its favorite food is, um, what its favorite place to land in Fortnite is, and if it likes to go to Haunted Hills. Uh, I would ask, do you like me? What's your favorite food and where we landing? What does it feel like to swim? Is swimming hard? And how do you breathe? Okay, there you have it. I hope you get some answers. It's just a question. It doesn't have to have a point. I know, I know, obviously. Moving on, we bring you a throwback segment of Mr. Rockwood's Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today we bring you an installment of On This Day in History. On this day in history, on May 25th, 1803, Transcendentalist and writer, philosopher, thinker, Ralph Waldo Emerson was born in Boston on this day in 1803. Ralph Waldo Emerson entered Harvard College at the age of 14. At the age of 14! It was called college back then, folks. He also was instrumental in helping to form the Transcendentalist Movement, a movement of literary figures philosophers and other great thinkers in Massachusetts. Those transcendentalists included Henry David Thoreau and Bronson Alcott. He wrote a book in 1836 called Nature and he persuasively demonstrated how classical Indian, Chinese, and per Persian works could be used as a means to bring the inquiring self into a fresh appreciation of its own profound powers. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and read a great book. Excellent. Thank you for your work all year long. Mr. Walkwood, we love your segments. Now, you may recall that a few weeks ago, we had a high school student come in and anchor our show while he was here. He spent some time answering our questions. Let's see how that went. So thanks for having me, everyone. It was great. Uh, any questions? Why the I'm the anchor. I'm the anchor. Okay, you know, th thanks a lot. You don't need it. Hmm, so that's how it went. All right, then. And now it's time for the birthday squall. Happy birthday, everyone. Let's wrap up the show with Have You Seen This? Okay, pay attention, because this is the last Have You Seen This this year. So let's make it for good. What do we have for prizes? A new water bottle, some candy bars, and a new HCAM messenger bag. Perfect. Let's give out free prizes this week. Wait, what? Don't worry about it. Here's a picture of somewhere in the school. Email us where it is. And you could be one of our six winners. He just said six winners. What did he say? That's our show today. Check us out at hcam.tv slash hmstv. And send us all your thoughts on hmstv at heroes.org. Until next week, get out there and study hard this summer.
Hello Hopkinton Middle School, my name is Eldon Rossi and I am here representing Community Teen Club. Now, Project Just Because has been asking Community Teen for help in the following items. We are requesting beefaroni, carrots, cereal for kids, clam chowder, cheese and crackers, fluff, hash, mushrooms, peanut butters and crackers, suddenly salad, pickles, scalped potatoes, and tissues. As always, thank you for your support throughout the year. All these items can be donated right outside the main office. And as always, help community and help others. Feature, f I request just, I'm, I have no idea. Like, I will do that one again. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, I need, re I need to restart this. Okay. This is the last how you, you see, oh God. Here's a picture of someone, oh God. <laughs> one more time. Okay, maybe. 